Welcome back. Now let's talk more about um, different functions of intonation. Okay. Number three, um, uh, here I'm on page, uh, let me check because uh, number three, which, yes, on page 11, page 11, okay. Intonation helps speakers um, to replace the tonic stress on the uh, most important word, okay, by exerting greater effort while pronouncing that tonic syllable. What does this mean? When we um, say a particular sentence, we have some important words in, in this sentence or in this utterance, okay? How can we mark this important word by giving it or by uh, uh, putting it on a different pitch level, saying it with a different pitch level, usually higher pitch level? Let me uh, go back to what we mentioned previously on pitch range. Here we have pitch level number, pitch level number two. This is a level that we s use to speak uh, most of the time. And pitch level number three, this is the higher level that we use in order to mark stressed words or important words in each utterance that we uh, pronounce, okay? Now go back to uh, our third function, okay? Uh, and and move on to um, to number four. Here, uh, intonation helps both the speaker and the listener in assigning and identifying the information structure of uh, the utterance, the given and no information. And this is relatable to uh, function number three because if you have uh, an utterance and in each in this utterance there is or there are a number of important words. Okay, these important words um, are really must give no information rather than old information. And each utterance, in one way or another, uh, expresses uh, given and no information. Um, this is how things go. الكلمات اللي هي بتدي no information and are important to the meaning are usually said uh, on a higher level of pitch as we said before and this is to attract listeners attention to their prominence and to their importance to the meaning okay um, let's go to uh, number five intonation has an indexical function this is a very important function of intonation what's meant by indexical indexical means um, identity marker because each group and each one of uh, you know uh, social classes or, uh, or nation it's, uh, even nation has to some extent you know unique idiosyncratic uh, tones or intonation patterns that act as uh, an in-group identity marker so intonation can be used uh, as an indexical function of intonation can be used as identity marker telling us a lot about your nationality your nas your social class your group your uh, your ethnicity and so on and so forth and here in this case uh, we will we find that uh, in Irish Welsh Australian and New Zealand Englishes people usually use the uh, high rise intonation rising intonation in, in uh, which is typically used for information seeing question yes no question but the youth as uh, this intonation button usually in uh, or almost in all sentences so all the sentences or statements or utterances are said with rising intonation as if they are speaking uh, or asking questions all the time and it is used by almost all uh, people there including women teenagers working class uh, people etc and minorities etc and uh, here we find that this is a very important function of intonation which is an indexical function indicating a lot about our occupation indicating a lot about um, the uh, even the discourse type was what is w what we 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 hear is sport commentary uh, or news bulletin etc and uh, so uh, also occupation with some army personnel or lawyers or preachers so they use intonation in a particular way in order to show their uh, profession and their jobs uh, uh, and and so on they this indicate their professions and their their jobs and so on and in this regard i want to show you a very important thing uh, which is uh, um, actually uh, it's a trend in, in uh, a speech trend in, in 
in in America and in Amer in Britain and in Europe in general and it it's going viral in uh, the whole world and this uh, trend is to use two kinds of speech pattern uh, number one is up talk uh, and it happens when we uh, we use uh, bitch, bitch uh, uh, as if we are asking questions and number two uh, vocal fry uh, which uh, is um, uh, a way of speaking uh, uh, as if there is no uh, uh, enough air in our in our uh, chest or in our lungs and so on um, and I want to show you uh, here um, something uh, yes uh, this is a video uh, I uh, posted uh, two um, two months ago yeah uh, two months or three months ago about this uh, issue uh, and it's called uh, uh, the title is the trendiest speaking barons and uh, as you see um, it, it it's talking about two important things vocal fry and up talk or valley girl talk and these are two uh, fashionable speaking trends in in in, in america and used by uh, teens and tweens in order to uh, uh, give them some sort of identity and to mark them and set them up apart from the rest of, of population so speech pattern and speech uh, fashion and uh, and and so on and intonation uh, are used in order to give uh, or to fulfill this very important function which is the indexical function okay now let's go to um, let's go to something else let me first check uh, whether the mic works or not because it uh, it uh, felt that in the previous video yes it's okay now let's move to another function which is a uh, function number six uh, the um, the uh, textual function of intonation how s uh, intonation is used in order to help us organize our speech chunk it into meaningful units and uh, uh, it tells us when to pose how to pose uh, and so on and as i told you intonation is a punctuation of of a speech so it it, it helps us navigate uh, uh, speech and understand the boundaries of between it each uh, uh, utterance and the other and, uh, uh, and 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 this is very important to help us in understand better better the uh, spe uh, the utterances and also communicate better with people okay uh, finally we have uh, uh, intonation function number seven which is a psychological function and it helps listeners perceive the message in accordance with some mental models of tones and uh, functions. Wh whatever we hear, uh, we understand in accordance with what is uh, stored in our mind. And these are called the mental models. So we compare between what we hear and what is stored in our mind. And uh, due to this mix and this matching, we can understand. And, uh, um, you know, because we have a schema or background knowledge or... Uh, yes, repertoire or archive that is there in our brain that helps us to uh, that helps us to uh, decode and understand the audible text. Okay, uh, this is uh, the um, the end of this uh, um, part on uh, different functions of uh, of uh, intonation. Hope that you read this part again and you Google. Uh, intonation and the intonation functions because this list is not exclusive and you can add to it and it's very difficult to provide an exclusive list of English intonation or any language intonation functions uh, they are very 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 uh, you know uh, we have so many many uh, uh, functions that we can uh, sometimes we cannot uh, describe or um, or illustrate. Uh, thank you. And now let's move to uh, chapter two. Okay. Um, chapter two: tone groups. Okay. And what's meant by tone groups? Tone groups means a group of words, 
and uh, uh, that uh, ha that has uh, one and only one tone, as we're gonna see. Okay, um, and the chunking. What's meant by tone groups and what's meant by chunking? Uh, let's first see that um, a, to a chunk or a tone group is a chunk of speech. يعني شريحة من الكلام جزء من الكلام that carries one and only one tone. Tone يعني نغمة and it must include at least one stress syllable. في كل uh, chunk or tone group there, there must be one stress syllable at least and uh, this um, corresponds to a unit of information. Okay, in this book, a tone group or chunk is marked by a slash at its end in, 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 an, in, an, uh, in an utterance A, such as, uh, for example, uh, it's my business. And uh, this is an utterance, uh, okay? This is a sentence. Uh, there is a difference between a sentence and an utterance. A sentence is a grammatical concept, uh, whereas uh, an utterance is a pronunciation uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, unit, uh, so and it, and it equals an informational um, unit. So it's my business. خلاص أنا كده the address بتاعي حطيت على طول ال ال slash to end uh, the address. This address اللي جاي فينو ده makes one tone group. One tone group. لا اسم تاني one tone unit. لا another name. لا ممكن نسميها chunk. Okay. Okay, and in every tone group or in every chunk or in every tone unit, there must be one, uh, at least one stressed word, one important word. What's this word here? It's business, okay? It's my business. It's my business, you know? This is the word that you hear most, it's the word that's given most prominence, okay? Uh, if you look at, uh, yeah, um, the word, uh, is this another sentence or another utterance? On Friday, I'm playing football. Here we have two two tone groups and two chunks or two tone units. The first one is on Friday. And the second, I'm playing football. On Friday, huh? I'm using rising intonation as you see. What are these marks? This is number uh, dot refers to unstressed syllables. And this dash, okay, it indicates uh, uh, stressed syllables. Okay, so here on Friday, I have three syllables. On is unstressed, fry is stressed, and day is stressed. And you see that Friday, I'm using rising intonation. On Friday, on Friday, and then a slash after this, because this is the end, this is a whole. لوحدها كده عاملة tone group or chunk on its own. Okay, and I use rising intonation here because it's not the end of the sentence, the, not the end of my speech. Okay, so I cannot use falling intonation. In falling intonation, I mean, I'm complete, خلاص بخلص my speech. You understand? So, on Friday, okay, slash, في بقى عندي another tone group or another chunk. I'm playing football. I'm playing football. I'm playing what? Football. What is the key word here? Uh, football. You see? And it's, as you see, it's put on a higher pitch. Higher pitch. You understand? Because it's an important word. And then I fall. Football. I'm playing football. But the and he be be خلاص be falling intonation because this is a statement and in statement um, uh, I use uh, falling intonation um, indicating completeness and finality and 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 so on. So on Friday, at the tone unit ahead, we I'm playing football. This is another tone unit. And what are the key words here? The key words here, or the focus words here, are Friday and football. And each one is carrying a tone. Friday, the rising tone. On Friday, تمام, tone هي الوحدة. And I'm, pl I'm playing football. I'm playing football. I'm playing football. Football, okay? So here, it's football also is important. It carries another tone, نغمة تانية, اللي هي falling intonation, because this is the end of my speech. Hope that you understand this part. 
So after each tone group, each chunk, we put a slash to mark the end of this tone group. And there must be a, a key word or a focus word in this tone group. And it this Keyword or focus words must carry the tone in Nagama Bal in rising the mesh of na Friday or uh, falling the mesh of na football. If I tell you Urugumla on Friday, could you repeat after me, please? Yeah, on Friday, I'm playing football. On Friday, I'm playing football. Okay, on Friday, I'm playing football. Football. Falling. Okay. Hope that you understand this part, and then we go to another uh, thing. Okay. And uh, let me show you where we are in in your book. We are in chapter two, and we go to page sixteen. وكل الكلام اللي انا دلوقتي is about uh, uh, okay all what we talked about regarding the previous uh, example on Friday I'm playing football ده uh, كل ده this is a different uh, discussion of this part okay um, let me read this uh, this paragraph and it's on page um, sh yes excuse me Yes, bottom of page 15. Yes, we chunk, we chunk, we chunk our speech by pausing. Okay, by pausing. On Friday, we have to send us here, we will melt. Okay, we chunk our speech by pausing if the message is relatively short and has one thought or by changing the pitch. زي ما عملنا كده في uh, on Friday استخدمت نغمة و I'm playing football استخدمت نغمة أخرى مع كل إيه مع كل البوز ومع كل uh, chunk and so on we change pitch by getting voice higher يعني نستخدم rising intonation يعني our voice higher or lower نستخدم falling intonation okay Uh, chunking helps us. What if the chunking? بقى التقسيم وعود قطع في الكلام. كده هنعرف دلوقتي how to chunk. إزاي أنا uh, بعمل uh, chunking of speech. Understand? Uh, I'm checking the mic. Yes. Uh, chunks helps us manage manage uh, our speech in meaningful units. يعني imagine that we keep speaking all the time without pausing and so on. Would our speech be intelligible, understandable? Of course not. فلازم يبقى في بوزنج لازم يبقى في كده سم ساين بوست ان اوردر تو هيلب اس نافيجيت ذا تكس اند نو وين ايتش انفورميشن ريليت ستارت اند وين ذا سكند اور ذا فولوينج وان ستارت اند اندز اند سو اون تمام يبقى تاني ناخد بقى هنا اهوت يقول لنا اه ذس اي وونت تو تو مارك ان ذس Uh, part I want to mark in in, uh, in uh, red as speakers. Okay, chunking helps us manage our speech in meaningful units. طبعاً واحدة بقزت معنا and put our thoughts in a convenient way. وبدينا راحة يعني إن إحنا uh, as 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 speakers إن أنا I I take my breath. I think of what I uh, I would say next and so on. لكن if I keep speaking all the time, all the time I can't. Uh, 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 speak, com you know, uh, comprehensively, and also my listeners would would not be able to grasp what I'm saying. Okay, it's a very difficult to it's a very difficult to go on talking without chunking. I mean, إن إحنا نمشي كده ونكلم من غير ما نقسم كلامنا ونقطعه إلى تون يونتس ووحدات نغمية والكلام ده. Chunking helps us take press. يا سلام. Okay, let me. Yes, chunking helps us take press, have time to create our thoughts, and put them in the most convenient and communicative way. Great. A speech chunk must include a a focus word, which gives most of the meaning. Give. We're not going to see the components of each chunk. What are the components of each chunk? Okay. خليني let's move to يعني كده ااا هنرجع تاني نزل to this part. Okay. Look at this pyramid. Nice one. Okay. 
um, this is called prosody, prosody uh, pyramid, PP, and uh, um, based on Gilbert, uh, 2008. Uh, here we have a pyramid called prosody, nagami, haram nagami, iba ada. At the bottom, we have uh, uh, a chunk or a tone group. Or a tone unit, the same as the one we are using. We could put some here tone group, could put any chunk, delta tone units. They make one. The important. Here we have John is brilliant. Okay, this is the the chunk or the tone unit. Okay, in this chunk we have three words. Guess what is the most important word here that gives the most of the meaning? Is it John? Is it is? Of course, no. It is. What it's brilliant. So we get brilliant here and we put it here in this uh, rank as a focus word. A focus word. What's a focus word? It's the most important word. The most. The word that gives the most of the meaning. أهم كلمة في ال في ال في الشنق أهم كلمة في التونية في الوحدة النغمية دي. And inside this word, which is brilliant. Okay. And inside this word, which is brilliant, we have. Um, another, uh, another thing. Uh, yes, we have a stressed syllable, which is bri. Okay, here brill, 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 yen. We have two, brill, yen, brill, yen. Which one do you hear most? Brill, or brill, or yen? Yeah, brr, bre, bre, or brill, brill. Okay. This is a stressed syllable. And what is the peak? The structure of the uh, syllable. The structure of the syllable. Okay? And said that uh, 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 the syllable must include a peak or a nucleus. Now, where? This is usually a what? It's what? It's a vowel. You know? It's a vowel. So inside this stressed syllable, there is a peak, which is a vowel. It's what? It's a I. And this I is the peak. It's a peak. How it is a peak? It's a peak because it's the most audible. The, 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 the sound that we hear most. The sound that gives the meaning. Okay? So inside brilliant, we have, we have brill and we have I. So this is... If we use uh, something uh, called the sonority level, sonority level, we will find that it is the highest, the most sonorous, the highest, the loudest, the one said with the highest pitch in the whole utterance, in the whole uh, chunk. You understand? So well, let's go back back. Oh, نفس الكلام. Oh, what? Was an each focus word there is a tonic syllable. And why do we call it tonic? Because I put a tone in نغمة على the tonic syllable ده على syllable اللي هو stress syllable which is inside the focus word which is inside what the chunk. So the peak or the stress syllable and especially the peak خصوصا the vowel اللي جواه is the one that carries the tone. إما بقى هعمل rising or falling. Our falling, rising, whatsoever. You understand? Uh, hope that this is uh, uh, clear enough. And let's move to uh, yes. And this part also is, uh, you know, it's a commentary on the previous part. Okay. Um, let let let's talk about something very important here. Okay. Um, yes. The balance, there must be some sort of balance between the stressed and unstressed syllables, okay? And this is what creates the rhythmic identity of the English language. So, English native speakers do not speak fast. احنا عندنا كده illusion واهم بنقول ان native speakers of English, they speak fast. They, they don't. They don't, actually. Uh, 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 this is not true, by the way. Uh, what happens is that they speak slowly to make the important words prominent. And they speak very rapidly, okay, to and reduce the unstressed and less important words. Okay, and this happens within the same utterances. So in each utterance, you will find a part 
uh, of it, which is um, important, and you'll find English native speakers um, give it time and give it prominence. On the other hand, unimportant words and functional words and uh, un reduced syllables and so on, they, s they, they say them uh, very, rap very rapidly, very, very rapidly. They squeeze them, they drop them, and so on. And so what's, what's the most important thing for the native speaker of English is to give uh, prominence to the important words. The unimportant words are really unimportant, and they do not need or deserve, according to the native speakers of English, to be given uh, uh, equal time. And this is what we want to do. So we, when we speak, we focus on the important words, give them extra time and extra prominence, and the unimportant words, okay, drop them, say them as quickly as possible, and so on. This is the rhythm of the English language. Unless we do that, uh, the English rhythm will be ruined, will be broken, will be destroyed. And, uh, and the English language will, uh, or this, our speech will, will not sound English, understand? Um, now let's move to some guidelines for assigning tone groups. The following list of form is given uh, to um, to help us. طب إمتى بقى نحط السلاش ونعرف إن دي بداية تون جروب أو نجية نهاية تون جروب أو تشانك وهكذا هعرف إزاي. I have some uh, some uh, tips for you which could be used as guidelines. Number one, phrases and short clauses. For example, John said that slash خلاص ده كده تون جروب لوحده تشانك أو Mary worked as a teacher. نظر uh, تشانك Three years ago, a third chunk, a third tone group, and in a public school. Tell me, look at this. John said that. What is the most important word here? It is that. Okay. Mary worked as a teacher. Mary worked as a teacher. Teacher, the most important word, the focus word here. And what is the stress syllable here? It's a teach. What is the peak? It's e. Okay, so what is the tone here? Another method here on the on the tone group the rising. John John said that that rising. Mary works as a teacher. Rising three years ago. Ago usually the last important word, like a content word. Three years ago, go in a public school. In a public school. Public school. Why do you let them on hot school? In a school is less important than uh, public. In uh, now, since she's working as a teacher, we can guess that she's working uh, in a school. What's new? Gadid in the she's working in a public school. So the same in a public school. So what are the the focus word in each? We have four tone groups, four chunks. So what are the focus word in each one? The focus word in in one in the first one is that, in the second teacher, in the third a go, in the fourth it's public. Okay. We know we need we know we need to see what is the word that gives the most of the meaning. What is the word that give gives that has highest informational value? What is the word that gives no information? Number B. Discourse markers such as anyway, well, you know, kind of, uh, sort of, right, right, uh, now, okay, etc. Kula Dimit said, may I get fillers, by the way, and the conjunctions and, uh, and so on. And uh, let's see here this example. Anyway, خلاص حط سلاش وراها لأن دي زي بنكشويشن كده. Anyway, وشو بقى الجملة اللي بقى ال الجزء اللي بعدها the second part. Let's look at this picture. Anyway, تعرفين rising intonation. Anyway, okay. Let's look at this picture. Anyway, let's look at this picture. Anyway, rising. Let's look at this picture. It's falling. خلاص تمام كده. طيب. Um, short number C. Short answers. Yes, no. بعد yes بنحط slash. بعد no بنحط slash in the end of tone units. تمام. Some adverbs when they come at the beginning or the end of clauses. 
for example, hysterically. Had loss. I had slash water. The Romans dominated Europe. They didn't exercise regularly. خلاص من هنا برضو هحط هنا ايه uh, I add a slash. Okay, let's delete the comma and add a slash. Okay, a slash. This is a, a tone unit لوحدة and the other rest is طب هنا هننطقها زي hysterically hysterically rising intonation the Romans dominated Europe. The Romans dominated Europe. 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 Falling intonation. Okay. They didn't exercise regularly. They didn't exercise rising regularly. Okay. Number E. Parenthetical, phallic, vocatives, and abusives. Okay. And also barrel questions. For example, the boy, to my, ex to my, to my surprise, and I said, if you have a little bit of a trade or parenthetical part, yeah. Between two slashes, I will never put them between two commas. I will never use them for the slash. You know, to say that this structure, gumla, diet, kida, can be divided into three chunks. The boy, to my surprise, is brilliant. Why am I alone? كل واحد نغم. The boy, to my surprise, is brilliant. The boy, to my surprise, is brilliant. Rising, rising, falling. Okay, Gary. أنا بنادي على جاري جاري رايزنج جاري وقفت وعملت بوز عملت لها سلاش عشان ده تبقى تون جروب لوحدها جاري ار يو هوم ار يو هوم ار يو هوم جاري ار يو هوم رايزنج الاثنين رايز جاري يا جاري ار يو هوم يو هوم جاري ار يو هوم Litnin, right. Trump, the American president, is giving a speech. <laughs> what today in Narda? Uh, I think that uh, I don't know. I don't know um, what is the latest in the elections results, but I think that um, uh, Biden is in the lead. Uh, we're gonna see. Let's wait and see. Uh, Trump, the American president. Okay, Trump, the American president, is giving a speech. Trump, the American president. Is giving a speech. فين هنا بقى ال focus word في كل الكلام ده? Trump في الكلمة في ال focus في ال chunk الأولانية في الجروب الأولانية. Trump كلمة واحدة وهياخد okay. Focus word وال وال tonic syllable وكل حاجة. وهن we're gonna use rising intonation. Trump, the American president, the American president, president is giving a speech. نبين إن هي بفالينج إن نبقى نهاية الجملة بتاعت. تمام؟ My goal is to increase exports. تمام؟ Help the poor and boost relations with all parties. ده واحد politician بيقول الكلام ده. My goal is to increase exports. ده one uh, one uh, group, one tone group, one chunk. عندنا كمان واحد. Help the poor and boost relations with all parties. Export exports poor. And parts three key or focus words. بس عندنا ثلاث نغمات. First one is rising. My goal is to increase exports, help the poor, and and يبقى and boost relations with all parties. Then he يبقى be falling. ما فيش حاجة بعد كده. Finality of my speech. Okay. Number F. Non-restrictive or non-restrictive clauses. Non restrictive clauses. هنا ديت برضو عايزة بينها فلازم بحطها كده between two commas وبيبان على طول تخليني اعمل uh, separate uh, tone groups or chunk. Ball. Who is a vice chairman? Who is a vice chairman? Is playing chess. Taleta. Ball. Rising. Who is a vice chairman? Rising. Is playing chess. Falling. هنا ball. Focus word number one and uh, group one or tone group one and vice chairman, chairman, okay, chairman, okay, and uh, or, uh, or by the way, you can use uh, vice, the vice chairman, vice, because this is a, a compound word, vice, you put stress on the first part, uh, first word, by the way, vice chairman is playing chess, chess is the final. 
uh, focus word here and we put uh, uh, falling tone, falling intonation, نغمه يعني هابطة أو نزلة يعني falling للتعبير على إنها نهاية الجملة okay um, so there can be more than one tone group in the sentence fake it to make it the exercise and اعمله كده بسرعة to help you and please you can بقى, uh, have a lot of things for example John منادي كده على واحد John it's your turn John it's your turn فين الكي وورد هنا turn فين الكي وورد في الأولاني John you want an ice cream? You want an ice cream? Don't you? Rising, rising for the need. I ordered salmon, not tuna. Okay. Ted was riding a bike. Okay, Chef Ramanazay. Ted was riding a bike when a car suddenly cut in front of him. When a car suddenly cut in front of him. When a car suddenly cut. In front of him. طب واحد يقول لي طب ان اقول له لا ما ينفعش طب فرونت ما ينفعش هو اوف ما ينفعش هم لان كل دي ار فانكشنال ووردز بريبوزيشنز بروناونز ما ينفعش اوكي طيب when a car loses power when a car loses power rising اهو it stops running when a car loses power تمام اللي بيحصل it stops running تمام two tone groups each one carries a separate tone a separate نغم a separate intonation pattern she's going to the supermarket to buy broccoli for the green salad I think the I think the Reds have a remarkable achievement achievement this season okay I think the Reds have a remarkable achievement the season rising rising and falling kofi annan the only black Amer black sorry the only black african to become un secretary general has died da bardo ana andi hena eh um you know um uh, non-defining non or non-restrictive -rest uh, relative clauses لأن أنا ممكن أقول كوفي يعني إن has died لكن أنا بضيف حاجات عليها هو إن هو مش عارف إيه وإيه كده فبرضو ده must be put between two commas زي ما احنا شايفين and must be given separate uh, position as a chunk his home country غانا uh -huh. his home country غانا إضافة برضو تعتبر يعني زي uh, parenthetical information has declared a week of national mourning. His home country, Ghana, or his home country, Ghana, has declared a week of national mourning. But rising, falling. Okay, read aloud. Um, and this is part also I want you to read on your own. I'm going to read some parts. Okay. Um, Yes, uh, not the focus words here. Once upon a time, and I'm going to talk about the here, the focus word is uh, uh, is uh, written in bold line, and the uh, stress syllable, uh, the peak is put on a uh, in, in in capital letters. Okay, so once upon a time, huh? Once upon a time, what's the key word here? Time, and what's the uh, peak? Or I, sorry, I, time, okay. اللي بيحصل بقى استخدمنا نغمة هنا إيه rising. Once upon a time, rising intonation. There was a little boy, تمام rising, and his name was Billy Bob Tail. تمام three. آه هما تقولون في إيه three tone groups, rising, rising, falling. تمام one day, شايفين one day, rising. Okay. He, ma he made up his mind تمام, to go and seek his fortune. Rising, rising, fall. So he put on his sickest pair of shoes because he might have to walk a long way, a long way, and his warmest coat in case the weather got cold and his green cap. And all the other things he wanted to take with him, 
he put in a very big red handkerchief and tied them up into a bundle and put a stick through the knot and lifted it up onto his right. Till ما احنا ماشيين الجملة ماشي احنا rising 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 until the end. You understand? فبنقسم علشان ده التقسيمة الجميلة احنا بنقول عليها chunking. You understand? Please do بقى هتلاقي الكلام ده in the rest of the of the book and um, task number three. Uh, we gonna have uh, uh, some tips also. Um, um, okay, don't 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 uh, pause between uh, the parts of a complex verb. You know, and a verb that's made up of two words, for example. Um, don't pause in between. Take off, take, and then off. For example, don't know. Number two, don't pause between a verb and the object. انت جبت الفيرب وفي والفيرب ده دي اسمه ترانستيف وله اوبجكت خلاص دون بوز ما تقفش ما بين الفيرب والاوبجكت كمل وبعدين سوري وي هاف تيب نمبر 3 دون بوز بتوين ذا ادجكتيف اند ذا ناون ات موديفايز عندي ناون وعندي ادجكتيف ما اقفش في النص ما بينهم يعني مثلا اللتل وبعدين اف وبعدين, وبعدين جيرل نو no. اللتل جيرل تمام اكمل دون بوز بين ان ارتكل اند ذا ناون ات ديفاينز يعني ما قلتش ذا بوي ما قلتش ذا وقف واقول بوي لا ذا بوي خلاص يبقى احنا انا عارفه وين شود اي بوز وين شود اي مارك وين شود اي تشانك وين شود اي بوت سلاش اند اي بوز ان ماي سبيتش تو هاب ماي ليسنرز انديرستاند ايزلي اند كونفينيان اوكي Um, here we have a uh, 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 text, okay, and we can, let's try this, the emotional robot, okay, has long been a, has long been a dream of science fiction, oh. the emotional robot has been a long, has, has long been a dream of science fiction. Oh, my God. The emotional robot has long been a dream of science fiction. That, because when I cut my speech into meaningful units, um, sometimes I'm in a hurry and I don't want to cut too much. 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 اوكي لكن لو حسيت ان هي المينينج اوكي اوكي حاسه ان انا اقف علشان ادي فرصه تو ذا سبيكر تو ابزورب اند جراسب مينينج اتس اوكي فا اتس اب تو يو ايزر تو اد اور نوت تو اد ذس اوكي طيب اوفر ذا لاست فور اوفر ذا لاست فايف ييرز انا عندي كوما كوما ديت على طول بتديني فكره ان انا لازم احط هنا سلاش اهو سوري اجي هنا تحت كده اوفر ذا لاست فيو ييرز Okay, computer scientists have been creating a range of animated Asian faces programs that genetic that generate images of human-like faces on a computer uh, VDU. Okay, تخلينا نشوف دي بقى لازم تأس صعب بقى شوي. Computer computer scientists have been creating have been creating. أنا قال لي بيقول لي ما تعملش ما تفصلش الفيرب والأوبجكت بتاعه فأنا هاف بين كرييتنج إيه؟ A range of animated Asian faces program يبقى قاف هنا أهو. Okay. فهنطق بقى يبقى over the last few years computer science have been creating a range of animated Asian faces programs that generate images وعندي images that generate images Okay, or that generate images. Okay. Well, if you take it, it's okay, Bardo. Yeah, now that generate images, images of Kaza, images of human-like faces. That be him, Kaza. Hello, Kaza. That create images of human-like faces on a computer video. Huh? Okay. Let's go on. Researchers at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology have now constructed a robot 
have have now have now constructed a robot called Kismet. أنا عندي كوما بتريحني على طول. Okay, which has a three-dimensional synthetic head, which has a three-dimensional synthetic head. Okay. Sorry, synthetic head with removable eye, uh, eyelids, eyes, and lips. ولو ما حبيت ما تحطش خالص it's okay part. يبقى ايه which has على بعضه which has a three dimensional static head with removable uh, eyelids, eyes, and lips. فهنا ممكن اعمل كده طالما كوما بحط هنا برضو تانية عشان اقسم كويس برضو uh, and um, eyes. After eyes, another slash. Okay, let's read. Uh -huh. Researchers at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, 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 have Malhom. Researchers at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, rising, have now constructed a robot called Kesmet, rising, which has a three dimensional synthetic head. Rising with removable eyelids, eyes, and lips. You understand? لما يبقى في كذا كذا and كذا نعمل مع كل كذا دي بقى ايه ااا أسلاش or sorry I want to check mic because it happened before that it 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 fell dead. Okay. When left alone, yes, I am. Very nice. When left alone, Kasmet look will look sad. Then, When left alone, rising, Kasmet will look sad. But if a human enters the room, it smiles. It is yeah, if a if a human enters the room, it smiles. Then, when left, when left alone, I'm alwahdo. Kismet, the name of the robot, will look sad. Will look sad. Tamim. Kida na na nahit bardo be falling. But, but if a human enters the room, if the human enters the room, rising, it smiles. Nice robot. If you are rough with it, aiva. If you are rough with it, you see. لو أنت بقى كده جناشف معه, an expression of fear develops. نقرأ الجملة تاني. If you are, if you are rough with it, rising, an expression of fear develops. Develops. Kasmets. كده خلصت وقفل بقى ال slash بتاعتي برضو. يا سلام. Kasmet. Kasmets inventors are now. Kismet's inventors are now planning to provide to provide the robot very nice to provide the robot with a voice that can express emotions عايزة ألغي حاجة من الحاجات دي أوكي بس لازم ما بأخذ بيليف من من الرولز دي اللي هي اللي don't do so and so and so أوكي don't pause between كذا and كذا and كذا أوكي hope that was interesting أوكي read the passage above several times try to add the conversational touch and read it and and so on and so forth أوكي Uh, برضو هنا بيقول لي more on focus word ان يا جماعة ان الفوكس word ده uh, ده بقى حاجة عايزة اعملها لكم برضو please uh, let me see where we are in your book to uh, follow me easily we are on page 23 yeah on page 23 are you following yeah um This image illustrates how the focus word works in each tone group or in each chunk. Look at this. What is the most prominent um, part in this in this image? What do you see most? Is it the flower? 
or are they the flowers or is it the butterfly it is a f definitely it's the butterfly why because it's made prominent it's put in the foreground محطوطه في المقدمه it's a given special coloring and so on and how about the rest they are put in the background they are not seen as clearly as it they are not uh, you know but uh, so noticeably as as a butterfly the same thing happens when we talk about the structure of our chunks and our tongue groups we find that words usually are not are not important except one and only one this one is called the focus word this focus word is the butterfly here looks like the butterfly here it's l it, it, you you can liken it to this butterfly so this butterfly um, looks like or you can liken it to the focus word just as uh, 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 this image is the butterfly is in the foreground and it's made prominent the the focus word in each tone group and in each chunk also must be made prominent and we get the stressed syllable out of it in order to add the tone on it as we mentioned before in the um, in the prosody pyramid that we saw at the beginning of our class okay so these two images are very relatable because the focus word here is uh, uh you can liken it to the butterfly which is put in the foreground and the rest of the words are uh, are are put in the background and they are said uh, very quickly and this is the way native speakers of english uh, speak uh, their sentences with focusing on the fox word the word that gives the most of the meaning and uh, ignoring the rest of the words and saying them with the least amount of time and the least energy okay um yes and uh, Let's go to something else here. Um, listen to your teacher saying the following sentences and identify the focus or the most important word here in each one. Okay. Uh, I was asked about a topic. Okay. I was asked about the topic. What's the key word here? Topic. Okay. We dayman all in a key word or focus word usually comes at the end of the utterance or at the end of the tone group. ولازم يبقى content word ما ينفعش يبقى um, uh, pronoun ولا conjunction ولا الكلام ده كله خالص ولا article ولا الكلام ده. It becomes difficult to stay positive. It becomes difficult to stay positive. What is that? By the way, you can chunk this. Okay? You can see. It becomes difficult to stay positive. It becomes difficult, rising, and stay positive. And the two focus words here are. Uh, difficult in the first and positive in the second. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, here we have, yeah, chunk, I don't know. And what are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Okay, and so on. Uh, let's take another example. Are you hiding something? Are you hiding? You know, hiding something? And remember, this only one tone group, one chunk. I don't think I'm honest with you. I don't think, Munkin F, I'm honest with you. Honest. Munkin, I don't think. If I don't think, huh? I'm honest with you. Think. Okay. Um, okay, and uh, and honest. Or I don't. negative. Okay. Uh, I don't do anything wrong. I don't do. I don't. Or I didn't do anything wrong. You can put uh, this on the negative part. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay. There is no record uh, of leaving the country. There is no record of leaving the country. No record, record of leaving the country. Okay. Uh, I haven't really thought about it. I haven't really thought about it. 
okay so I've, i haven't really really thought about it okay these are uh, so many examples can i help you help you it's a horrible matter the particular hotel horrible well matter okay it's a horrible matter i think that horrible uh, is um, is more important than matter دايما احنا بنقول القاعدة ان المفروض لما بيبقى في noun and an adjective noun is more important than the adjective but it seems that uh, uh, in this case horrible is, is strong enough but anyhow we can say it's a horrible matter okay it depends he dropped out of, of Harvard he dropped out of Harvard you know he dropped out of Harvard okay كون دي ام حتى ان هو فشل في جامعة Harvard Okay, let me fly, fly, that's awesome, awesome, okay. Uh, it had been all a lie, lie, you may be, you may be an opportunist, opportunist, okay. The word, the key word, the key word, nothing great ever happens, yeah? nothing great ever, ever happens, nothing great, nothing great ever happens. I got so messed up. نفس الكلام must must up دايما تبقى هي الأكثر لأن ده phrase the verb and remember silence is golden remember ممكن أحط كده في slash وأقول silence is golden و golden طبعا هتبقى the focus word و remember ديك لوحدها عاملة focus word في chunk لوحدها okay hope that this is uh, in clear for for you let's talk about the structure of the uh, focus word okay uh, so the structure of the uh, tone group we have number one the head okay um, and uh, we have uh, other elements hope th uh, this will be uh, given in another lecture inshallah we're gonna talk about the structure of the uh, tone Uh, uh, group the structure of the tone group more and more uh, about it inshallah uh, next time for the time being I want you to get other texts do this exercise uh, in your book and get other texts from your own and uh, try to chunk them into uh, tone units or into chunks Um, uh, and do chunking because it's very important to know how to pose and how to cut your speech into meaningful units to help your listeners grasp what you are saying and also to give you yourself the chance to think of what you're going to say next and to take your press and, and so chunking is good for everyone for listeners and speakers thank you